Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree and today we have a really cool show for y'all. We are in Covington, Louisiana at the Factory Outlet Store and they sell high performance pots. They're made here. And uh, some of the things we're doing today is going to be incredible. We're going to get to see what these pots do and, and they've got from this size on up, y'all. We're going to boil some crawfish, we're going to fry some fish, we're doing some cracklings, we're doing chicken wings. And who knows what else we're going to be doing. So, uh, y'all hang on. Cajun Living and Cooking is fixing to start right about now. Tide line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens. That's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. And people live like they did long ago So join the fun, live off the land Cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man Tight line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline Waiting for the sun to shine Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens That's how we live, and it sure feels fine All right, y'all, we made it inside, and I got Mr. Todd Tunstall with me. How's it going? Doing good, Gardney. Thank you very much for coming today. Um, I'm looking around here, and y'all have some really th nice things to offer today as far as the pots. Uh, you told me some about the pots, but let's tell the people, uh, how, how did this come about? How, how did this high performance come about? Well, about 10 years ago, I came up with the first high performance product on the market today for boiling crawfish only. And... In 2019, I had came up with a design for the next generation of high-performance pots that have the ability to come to a boil in one-third the time than a traditional pot. Wow, wow. And, 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 and y'all have so many different lines of pots from small to large, and y'all have these different bases on them. Uh, for the bigger pots, let's tell them about some of the features that you can use on these big pots. Okay. Well, the thing is, today... Our new high-performance product is capable of not alone boiling, but frying and cooking. So we have interchangeable burners designed for boiling, cooking, and, and frying. This is a natural gas version of our pot product. To, for all you have natural gas at your house and you've always wanted to use it, now you can boil in natural gas. You don't have to go fill up propane anymore. You just hook it onto the house and if you want to take it somewhere you can switch it so this one here that's go camping you can just switch it with this burner and you can on propane natural gas doesn't perform as well as propane but our bottom is so effective and so efficient that you nearly that it works beautifully so uh, our 10 inch uh, cooker over here is fabulous for doing crackling and other things in our pots and that's some of the things we're going to be doing today, y'all. We're going to be uh, frying and balling. And uh, I'm going to tell you what, we're fixing to get down in business right now. We're going to do some Bloody Marys coming up. We're going to do some frying. We're going to do some cooking. So y'all hang on. All right, y'all. We made it outside here this morning. And with me, I've got Mr. Chris Ferret. How's it going? How you doing, Ronnie? Very good. Now, you're with Creole Seasoning. Yeah, Go Creole Spices. That's our, our spice line. And no better way to start off the morning than making a Bloody Mary. And I'm here, and this is an award-winning Bloody Mary. Yes, it is. We use our Bloody Mary Juju. It's a dry spice. And we mix it with vegetable juice, some lemon juice, and some lean parents, and, of course, vodka. And uh, we won the Bloody Mary Festival a couple of years ago with that, with that blend. You can make it at home. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Let's do it. Let's right, do it. Let's, let's see it. you doing it. Now, uh, was there a bunch of Bloody Marys in the uh, contest? Uh, I think there was uh, 20 different companies wow. presenting their Bloody We were wow. up against the likes of Commander's Palace, Ruby Slipper. Uh, I think the Brennans had their Bloody Mary there. It's, it's a lot of stiff competition. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now, when you, when you make these Bloody Marys, somebody's got to drink them, you know? That's right. <laughs> we, don't have, we never have any trouble with that. I, I was figuring that. I was figuring that. Now, the key to this, though, is the spice, is the juju. That's right. The juju is absolutely what makes the difference. And you can, when you're making a bulk like this, because we're going to be drinking these all morning, you use quite a bit. Okay. I mean, you can, you can go as much as a half a cup. Oh, wow. Yeah, so don't, it's not real salty, so you don't have to worry about over-salting 
and having too much sodium. Gotcha. Boy, it smells good. It's, Man, no, that's it's, it's, hitting It's got me. a little smokiness to it. And then some Worcestershire. And Worcestershire size just, just kind of rounds it out a little bit. I like that. I like that. Now, uh, you not only make the juju, you have several other sp spices. As a matter of fact, you have a crawfish boil and... We have an award winning crawfish boil. We've won multiple competitions with this bag right here. This is a, this got 15 different ingredients in it. Wow. It's one of the lower sodium products in the market, which makes it, uh, you know, that means it's a four and a half pound bag. So it's packed with flavor. You don't need to add anything else. Gotcha. And simply use that. You also do crawfish balls and you sell crawfish. That's right. We sell, we do catering, we sell boil crawfish, we sell live crawfish. And uh, out of Mandeville. This is when we'd have the number on the bottom of the screen for right. to call him. So you'll see the number down on the bottom right here to call him up. And so we're just going to slice up some lemon here. Squeeze some juice in there. Yeah. All right. Now, what's the... Can't forget the vodka. Can't forget the vodka. We left enough room in there for right. us to put about half of that jug, look like. That's a, that's a key <laughs> key step. Don't overfill your pitcher before you put the vodka in. Now, uh, uh, that's about good. There we go. Now, that's the breakfast of champions, I would have to say. That's right. Give it a stir. I like to let it sit for a couple of minutes to uh -huh. let the spices dissolve a little bit and stir them again. And we'll be ready to drink these in about three or four minutes. And I also just like to look at the texture. It's a little thick. I see yeah, a little thickness a little in thick. it. It's the vegetable juice is a little thicker than tomato juice. Okay. And it also just adds a little more flavor. It's less acidic than tomato juice. Gotcha. Okay, y'all. We're going to stir them up. We're going to let it sit a few minutes. And we're going to taste one. Okay, Chris. What are we doing next? Okay, so we got some backstrap that was uh, AJ brought over. And normally we would grill this, but since we're not grilling today, we're going to try and do cook it a few different ways, uh, maybe some pan searing and some frying. And uh, so right now I'm just going to prep it with a little bit of our Creole dust. This is one of our best products. It's very low sodium, only 75 milligrams per quarter teaspoon. Oh, wow. And you can use it basically in anything you're cooking. Um, I use it to season my gumbo, my red beans, jambalaya. I rub all my meats with it. Um, it's great on ribs. I like to add a little more brown sugar on my ribs when I do it, but gotcha. um, and just I put it in my taco meat. I mean, it's just a great all base around. seasoning to get that flavor. Stews, soups, anything. And then if you want to add some salt to your to your your um, whatever you're preparing, we use our Creole seasoning, which is like a Tony Sachery's or a Slappy Mama, yeah. except it's a third less salt than those two. Oh, with a lot more flavor and a little more kick. And that's what everybody needs, just a little bit healthier. Right, so I like to use this to get my flavor base, and then I bring the salt level up with the Creole seasoning. So they, they're interchangeable. You can use them any, any way you like. The people right. that are worried about salt level will definitely want to use this. So I'm just going to do that and put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce on the, on the back strap here. Oh, this is fresh. Just got yeah, this was just, um, just, just taken down, um, what, two days ago, AJ? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, there's a million ways to do backstrap, and uh, I think we're going to probably bring out a new one maybe because we're right. going to do some fancy stuff here. Yeah, so I'm just going to do that, and we're going to mix it all up, put a little salt on it. Oh, yeah. Creole seasoning. A little marinade. Now, yeah. uh, we did do them Bloody Marys a while ago. Yeah, that should be ready to go right now. It should have been nice and seasoned. What you think? Wow. Some I see why stuff. you won now. <laughs> right, Boy, there's a, 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 a smoky flavor in there that I really, really like. Let me do that again. Yeah, do that again. Yeah, that's good. That's, good that's, stuff. that's good, y'all. Y'all got to get some of that. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information.
D-C-T-O-F-L-A.com. Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies night on Wednesdays. Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. Live bands on Saturday and Sundays. The Giant River Bar is air-conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking has the largest selection of grills and outdoor cooking supplies in South Louisiana. Let our team help you select the right equipment for your cooking needs. Our unique inventory of cookware is second to none. Whether you are looking for a new cast iron or ceramic coated pot and burner, a new charcoal, gas, or pellet grill, or anything to help you with your outdoor cookout, come to Galvez Hardware because good food brings people together. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, Chris, this is the 40 quart sauce pot. Tell us what you can do with this thing. Okay, so. This pot, it's the perfect size for doing outside gumbo, jambalaya, red beans, any kind of soups, stews, whatever. Um, but today, right now, we're going to cook some crackling with it. Yes, indeed. So we've got this, uh, we've got about a quarter inch of oil, vegetable oil, clear frying oil, whatever you have. And, um, and I took this... Uh, these cracklings I made, I took them off of a pork butt. Yeah, you told me you took the fat cap off? I cut the fat cap off. I leave some of the meat on it, and then I cut it in cubes, season it with the Creole dust and the seasoning, and I just throw it in the freezer. And whenever, So the next time I want to start making crackling, I'll take it out, thaw, you know, let it thaw out, and I just, we're just going to start doing that right here. Gotcha, uh, gotcha. So what I'm going to do here is add a little more dust. Okay. Now what he was telling me about the pot was uh, with the with the tubes underneath, the the middle of the pot is the same temperature as the side of the pot, so you got to even heat all the way across the bottom. That's right. It, there's no hot spots. Like with cast iron, you you know you're always going to have some hot spots somewhere, just because of the nature of having to season it, and one, well, one area season more than the other. This is just an even cook, and it's, it's it's real quick. Doesn't take long. Got the sizzle. We got our nice little bottle open of paddle here. Look at that. So these cracklings, um. You'll, you'll cook them in batches or? Yeah, or just do batches. I mean, you can do all at once or, you know, little at a time, whatever. I mean, I like to serve them hot, warm. Uh -huh. And if I don't mind standing over it and cooking them, at, you know, as people are eating them, that's that's what I'd like to do. But if you're in a hurry, you can, I could do all, this whole batch right. together, right. you know. But I figure we're going to kind of eat on this all day, so we're going to come back later and eat some more. A little nibbling. Right. Keep it nice and warm. That's what, man, it's, it's uh, the versatility that, huh? of these pots is what it amazes me. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, you can't, and it's, I mean, it's, they're light. They're really portable. I mean, you, can, you know, you know how heavy cast iron is. Yeah. And then you got to bring a burner with it and all that. This is all. Just, That's what I'm liking, too. You know, you, right you, there. You could do this inside if you wanted to with this pot. You know, set it on your, on your, uh, on your table or something. If it's too cold. All right, y'all. We got the cracklings in there. We're going to brown them down, and we're going to show you what they look like. We, All right, Chris, we got the crackling out, yeah, and we're we fixing it. to do some backstrap. Try that right there. Let me try one. Let me try one. So I just sprinkled my Creole seasoning on top after I, after I took them out. That's damn good, huh? That's incredible, man. Ten minutes that took. So now we're going to do some backstrap. Already marinated. Yeah, remember we dusted them, and we did the the lean parents and some Creole seasoning. So we're just gonna, real thin, just kind of do like a pan sear here. So the oil is still in there. Strap. Yeah, and this isn't gonna take long at all. I wouldn't think so. Now that crackling, uh, the first time I ever seen crackling not cooked in a black iron pot. Crazy, huh? Yeah, yeah. And 
for the amount of time it took us 10 minutes to cook those cracklings, I've seen people cook cracklings for five hours. Right, man. And yeah. it's good, and it's just, it's great, it's I gotta tell you, and that seasoning's good. Thank you, thank you. And now, the seasoning, just something we didn't talk about, all the ingredients in, in my spices are all natural. There's no scientific names. You can pronounce everything. No MSG. That's, no MSG in anything. You can pronounce everything that's on the nutritional label. Um, Healthy. Yes. Yeah, um, I mean, it's just something that's more good natural, for more organic type product. Yo, he's got this back strap in here. He's flipped it one time already. We're going to see if you can see that. And I'm going to tell you what, it's already flipped again and within a matter of that's what i'm thinking too it's uh it's like a minute and a half backstrap you got going there <laughs> which is marinated already and uh this is one versatile pot i gotta say look at that done already like a minute and a half y'all pan fried backstrap and that's a believe i'm gonna tell you what uh these pots are incredible. Okay, y'all. We got backstrap out. We got crackling out. We're fixing to be heading toward the crawfish soon, so y'all hang yeah, on. Now we're going to prep our catfish. And this is a technique that I learned from a Vietnam vet named Irwin. Uh, he fries a lot of catfish with the Knights of Columbus. And uh, we were doing a golf tournament one day. I was serving uh, Bloody Marys, and he was frying fish. And he showed me this technique. To, and the, the catfish were so crispy and crunchy, and they stayed that way for hours after. Oh, wow. So I was watching him do it, and so basically what he does is he takes the frozen catfish fillets, and he just thaws them out in water, okay? And just th thaw them out in water, and then what he was doing was he was taking the, the catfish, going right out of the cold water into a dry batter and into the fryer right away. So cold, cold, cold catfish into a hot grease. And if you have already fresh catfish, you don't have to be frozen, you can just put some ice in the water and to, yeah. get, to get it cold, okay? Yeah. So I'm thinking, how can I make that better? You know, wh why not just, why just regular water? Why not, why don't we put the seasoning in the water and let it pick up the seasoning as it's thawing out? So I took the dust, which is very low sodium. So you don't want to use a, it's, it's not really a brine because brine is salt, you know, more of a salt mixture. But so this is a very low sodium, so you're not getting all that salt on the tender catfish fillets. I mean, turkey's one thing, but catfish right. will, will pick up that salt right. so much faster. So we're going we're gonna to put the dust in the, in the water and let it pick up those flavors as they're thawing out. Okay, so, and you can be very liberal with it, and you just stir it in. You can't really use too much. Um, it's and then just let it sit and then so now when we're ready to fry we're going to come straight out of that cold water in the brine mixture into the fryer and you're going to have some of the crispiest catfish you've ever had and it's almost a marinade in the it's exactly it just it just helps get that flavor in there and if you 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 it's a subtle increase in in the flavor of flavor of it cuz you're going to we're going to have our creole seasoning in the batter in the mix and we put it on top afterwards but if you fried it with, without brining it and you tasted, uh, did a taste side by side, 100% improvement wow. with the brine. Wow. I, you know, so it's just something, a little trick to to try. That uh, yeah, that that cold to the hot grease. That's the way to go for for, for uh, crunchy catfish. So now we're at the point of getting some grease hot. We're fixing to get some going. That's right. Yeah. So here we go. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever with biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans-style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart where we've come back bigger and better than ever but we haven't lost our hometown feel. Corral fish season is coming soon. It's time to move into the 21st century with the new high performance cookers and super boilers. 
With our new state-of-the-art technology, the 120-quart pots come to a boil in under 7 minutes and the return boil in under 2 minutes. This fast return boil is key to perfectly cooked crawfish, all while using far less propane. Now, no more mushy crawfish using the old, outdated slow boilers. All right, Chris, we done cooked so much stuff up today, bro. What are we doing now? So remember the back strap that we were cooking earlier, and we we kind of pan seared it, seared it in that uh, sauce pot. So we're gonna we're gonna bread these up. We have we have a little bit left, and we're gonna bread it up and throw it in the fire in the fryer. Okay. Now that's got your seasoning on here. Yeah. And then the breading you put together last yeah. night. Uh, yeah, I just threw some flour and some cornmeal together, and then I, I mixed in a little uh, Creole dust and my Creole seasoning. Um, nothing fancy. Okay. Um, so we're just gonna bread these up. Now, uh, it's going to be hard to beat the one you already cooked, man. Yeah, that was pretty damn good, <laughs> wasn't it? I got to say. Now, this uh, this fryer we're going to be using here, uh, the name of this fryer is the um, the fish fryer? That's just a fish fryer, yeah. And it's got the banjo burner on the bottom of it. You can dial that temperature down to within two degrees of where you want it to be. It's super fast to heat, to heat up. Yeah, it didn't take long. No. We already up to I mean, three and a quarter, right at 350. Right. And so, in fact, the reason we're doing the backstrap is because our catfish isn't quite finished brining, so it, it came to a heat, to heat so fast. We're going to go ahead and do gotcha. this. Gotcha. There's always something to cook. That's right. Now, uh... So nothing fancy, just the, just the fish fry. I mean, you're going to let the, the meat and the, and the oil and the fry technique do all the work for you. Oh, yeah, bubbling up. Uh-oh. You hear folks talk about when it floats, it's cooked. That's right. That's what I'd say. Yeah. You know, uh, we out here doing this, and it's uh, we getting close to Christmas, maybe three weeks from Christmas. Yep. We got backstrap. Crawfish. We got crawfish. <laughs> <laughs> we got some uh, chicken wings. Uh, Nothing like living in Louisiana, huh? Man. And... What it's done, or what I've seen, is these these high performance pots make this cooking so easy. Look at this one's already floating. Look at that. And we just over we right at 350. We are shade over 350, and I'm gonna tell y'all, it didn't take but seconds, seconds. Minute, huh? Look, these these straps are. Look at that. As we were talking, it's done. Look we'll at see that. How that tastes. Yes. Okay, y'all. We're pulling the back strap out. We're going to set them to the side. We're going to taste them. And then we're going for the fish. That's All right, Chris. We're going to the fish. All right, sir. So catfish have been brining for about 40 minutes, defrosting and brining at the same time. Again, like I said, if you have fresh catfish, just throw some ice in the water to get that temperature cold. You want those fillets really cold when they go into the fryer. Okay. So we're just going to, and we, I like to cut mine into nuggets. Gets, gets crispy all around. Um, quick frying, too. Kid, quick frying. Kids love it. Um, but, you know, do it any way you like. People right. like to do strips. They like to just do the whole filet. Make uh, a potato chip if you want. That's right. <laughs> so it's been brining in, let's tell them again, we've been brining in? Water and our Creole dust okay. right here. Okay. Low sodium. You're not going to put too much salt on it. The catfish is tender, so you don't want to do a, like a traditional brine that you would for a turkey. Yeah, yeah. I think you just get too much salt. Um, that Creole dust is only 75 milligrams of sodium per quarter teaspoon. So it's just a great flavor additive, you know, add, put the flavor on it. So I'm going to bring this over to the fryer. And, I mean, I don't, when we were doing the backstrap, we, we turned the heat off. And we did another round of backstrap, and that temperature maintained 350 the entire time. With this outside temperature we have here, right. I mean, it's and, and that's that speaks to you know the side, the width of the pot, its thickness. It just holds that temperature yes. so much longer. Yes, just, yes. So. Uh, average old house skillet would have lost all that. Exactly. Living right, In Louisiana, baby. I'll tell you what, bro. Uh, 
as I've seen these pots, and we still got one more to go. This is uh, impressive. I know they put some uh, years of. There's some serious research, technology. I just, I mean, can't imagine cooking on anything else. I know, I know. <laughs> I, that's what I'm thinking now. I'm going home and right. throw everything exactly. I got out in the yard like, and look, come. Look at this little piece of junk <laughs> I got here. <laughs> okay, here we are. We got fish in there. They coming up. We got crawfish we're fixing to be tasting. We got fish coming up. Y'all hang on. It's fixing to get really good. All right, y'all. I got some kids out here, and they're dying to taste some of this food we cooked up. Let's get their names. Freddie. Harper. Emery. William. Dig in. <laughs> now, that's digging in right there. Uh, now, we're going to have to see if they like it, though, you know, the, uh, they, as, they, as they're uh, testing it here. Did, did, uh, what do you think? Good. It's very good. Really good. <laughs> really it's a testament right here, y'all. High performance yeah, cooking. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories, like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, Trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by today. Porsche's Sausage, located in French Settlement, is bringing back that old country smokehouse flavor and customer service. This third generation family, dating back to 1946, has all your favorites. Hall cracklins, beef jerky, head cheese, and smoked sausage. Like the old days of Donald Porsche, our on-site butcher has all your specialties. Smoked tasso and hocks, andouille, meat sticks, and Uncle D's Bayou Blend. Come and experience Porsche's sausage. It's a wonderful thing. All right, y'all. I've had a fun day, and I'm going to tell you what. We got a product here. Y'all have a product that is incredible, and uh, it's really, really bringing it to the public to let them know what you can do with these pots. It's incredible what we can do with them, the versatility of them. You can change out the burners. You know, you can go from a high high jet burner doing the boiled crawfish. It takes literally five minutes to swap that burner with a banjo, and now you can boil peanuts, boil, make gumbo, jambalaya. It's, it's, it's incredible. And then the four-way burner you got there that we use. Yes, it's absolutely fabulous. I mean, you could do shrimp. You could do all kinds of sea, different seafoods at one time, or you could do chicken and then – French fries, it's, it's excellent. You can control the portions. Uh, it's, it makes it happen. And there's still more pots that you don't even know. They got the commercial pots coming up. There's a turkey fryer. There's another couple pots, y'all. You can get them here in Covington at High Performance. Look them up on the Internet. Or you can get them at Galvis Hardware in Prairieville. Look it on the Internet. But uh, I want to tell everybody we had a great day. I want to thank y'all for watching. And we'll see you next time on Cajun Living and Cooking.